um, love fulfills our commandments. Scripture says, God is love. In fact, Jesus was talking to his disciples and he told us that we should love the Lord our God with our hearts and thereafter love our neighbor as ourselves. What it means that love is essential. We need to love, we actually need to love each other. But what are the advantages or the benefits of loving one another? First, when you love people, you find out that they respond better. Also, when you love people, it helps you to relate better. And ultimately, having love for your neighbor and for God enables you to live above all sin. So if you love someone, you won't want to hurt the person. If you love God, you won't want to disobey God because scripture gives us a matrix for our love for God is keeping his commands. And it began to say that his commands are not body and soul. The reason why scripture tells us that the commands of God are not body and soul is because the commands were not put there to maybe punish us. They were actually put there to protect us. But you also need to understand that loving is different from entrusting. Um, at the end of it, one particular chapter in John, Jesus began to say, or rather scripture began to tell us that Jesus did not entrust himself to them because he knew the heart of them. But also we know that this is Jesus that loves all men. In fact, for God's love, he came and died for us. So Jesus loves everyone, but he did not entrust himself to everyone. You're actually not supposed to entrust yourself to everyone. What you need to do is actually understand what each relationship in your life is for. There are some relationships that are actually, you know, for friendships. There are some relationships that are supposed to be acquaintances. There are some relationships that you're supposed to, you know, um, further to probably marriage. Um, descend, basically descend the will of God, pray about it, and you know, tell God to align with relationships in your life.